Jesus, we got shots fired. We have a border shot! A border shot! Give me a f***ing ambulance! Get a blood bank going. Get me a route. Get me everything. Brazen gunmen opening fire in the middle of the street, in the middle of the day, in the Mount Eden section of the Bronx, sending an innocent little girl in a blue backpack fleeing for her life. Hundreds of officers and years of work leading to a takedown of some of New York's most dangerous and youngest gang members. Three of whom they are looking for in a deadly shooting in the Bronx. Recently released video shows a man across the victim. My name is Vanessa Gibson. I am a member of the New York City Council. I represent District 16 in the West Bronx. Gun violence, specifically in the city of New York, we fundamentally as elected officials believe that we have to do something different. We can no longer look at communities that have been plagued by gun violence for many, many years and just say the only answer is the deployment of additional police officers. So what the city council did a few years ago, back in 2013, is we looked at a model called Cure Violence that's based on a Chicago model that looks at gun violence from a holistic perspective. It says, yes, we understand the need for more police, but we also want to look at the root causes of gun violence and why young men and women, particularly young men and women of color, engage in gun violence in the first place. And one of the organizations in particular that has such an incredible mission and vision and their principles that they fundamentally believe in is SOS. Save Our Streets. My name is Marisol Rivera, and my title is Hospital Responder Coordinator slash Community Engagement. The way it works, we come in first. Everybody sits around the table to debrief. The brief is just a conversation of any ongoing conflicts, any mediations, anybody just recently released from home who may need resources and may need help because the object is to stay out and not to be reoffending. So we bring them in here to make sure they know they have support because SOS is a safe haven open to the whole community. Give out public education, give out resources they may not know because we got legal aid, we got parenting class, we got. Um, Justice Plus in here where you can work on your resume. So we just go out to the community to let them know these are all the resources we have right here. We care about the young people. We care about the older people. Nobody's turned away. Even though our target population is from 16 to 24, we help everyone. That's the problem with the world today. They lack love. They lack education. And if we had more love around the world, and every, the violence would be down. Violence is like a disease. And we're the antidote that come and we take it out that's called credible messengers. So that's, you know, that's how we view it. And we just want to kill the disease so that everybody, because it starts with the mind. If your mind ain't right, you're not going to make good decisions. So that's why we try to come with our young people and change their mindset so that they can make better decisions and have a successful life. In terms of specifics and data, obviously as government, we look at data all the time to measure performance, to measure success, to look at failures. And I will say that most of our data is driven by the NYPD as it relates to shootings. SOS two years ago celebrated an entire year 365 days in their catchment area, which is here in Morrisania, without one shooting. But we need all of you, the parents, the residents, the advocates, the teachers, whether you have a title in front of your name, care enough about your community to be a part of change. Because you know what? The upstate prisons are waiting for our kids.